place you hear. What's going on in that? The Black Okage here, aka TBH. And to be honest, I've spent the last 65 hours of my life playing Mass Effect Andromeda. The game is long as hell. And it got to a point where I had to force myself to stop doing side quests and just knock out the main storyline. And upon completion, I have a lot to say. I know some of you are worried about me being biased because it's no secret that I am a huge fan of the original trilogy. But all I ask is that you watch this entire video before leaving a comment because I think you guys would be surprised at what I have to say about this game. So where to? Find Rand and Fast. This way. Stop there. Let's go. Story. Who are eating the book? Mass Effect and Drama is a tale that takes place 600 years in the future. During the events of the original trilogy, the Milky Way species all agreed to create an initiative that would be in charge of finding a new home in dark space to preserve their species. You play as Pathfinder Rider who's in charge of finding a new home for the humans. Your adventure will see you exploring beautiful huge planets where you'll develop relationships, discover mysteries, and throw hands with the worst the galaxy has to offer, all in hopes of finding a new plan to colonize, and you'll be able to colonize those planets with the help of a new cast of characters. Andromeda is full of new characters for you to interact with. How you get to know them plays out the same way it did in the previous games. You go to missions, meet new people, they join your crew, and after other missions, new conversations open up with them. The more time you spend with them, the more you get out of them. I've seen people complain that the dialogue is cheesy, but I ask those people, where have you been all these years? Mass Effect's dialogue has always been cheesy. My problem with the dialogue is the new dialogue tree. Bioware removed the Paragon and Renegade options, so now you only have the option to be caring, sarcastic, or middle of the road. I went into this with an open mind because Bioware claimed they were going to be having a more natural, flowing conversation, but it just doesn't work. It's not fair to have a nice option, but I can't be an asshole. I've always played Renegade. Like, there's a point where you meet a reporter on the Nexus, and I got excited because I thought she was going to start hating on me like in the previous games, and eventually I thought I was going to be able to three-piece her ass, but nope. She was totally nice to me, and I was totally nice back. I'm like, what the fuck is this shit? I'm supposed to be a space savage. It's not fair to give me three options to be nice and nothing else. It makes the conversations less dynamic, and it comes across as lazy, to be honest. Another problem with the game's characters is, although I liked all my crewmates, I didn't love anyone. I mean, there just wasn't a character that stood out to me. Everyone was cool, but Andromeda's missing a Garus. It's missing a Thane. It's missing someone who challenges your entire thought process. The best way I could describe Andromeda's characters is by comparing it to, like, high school friends. I mean, there were so many people that I was cool with in high school, and I thought they were good people, but after graduating, Graduating nine years ago, I don't speak to any of them. Does that make them bad people? No, I just don't feel compelled to continue those relationships. But thank God Bioware made up for this with the gameplay. Mass Effect Andromeda features the best gameplay at all four Mass Effect games. Soon. Serving you papers right now, bitch. It's clear what Bioware's focus was during the development of Andromeda. It's the gameplay. This is the saving grace of Andromeda, in my opinion. Andromeda features the most fluid and fast paced third person combat the series has ever seen. Pulling up as a vanguard with the shotgun is still as satisfying as ever. Silver? Just said, I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. You said what? <laughs> this dude, man. I go and cover his guy, and instead of him going to my guy, he runs right back over there where I was just at. Let dude run in and get the rebound. Keep getting. We ran into it. Good shit. I gotta see. What I really love is the fact that you're no longer tied to a single class. Instead, you can mix and match whatever moves you see fit from the biotic tech and combat skill trees. You're allowed to have up to four setups, and each setup contains three hotkeys. That means you can walk around with 12 different special abilities if you like. This made the combat much more dynamic. I mean, different situations call for different tactics, and being able to switch up your style on the fly was incredibly fun. I also enjoyed the fact that Bioware opted for more verticality in Andromeda. That's something that the series has always been missing. There's times where the game feels like a straight-up platformer, and y'all know I'm a sucker for any type of platformer in my games, but the verticality is also great because it adds more intensity to the combat. But the game isn't all about combat, you'll also be doing a lot of exploring. Words cannot describe how big Mass Effect Andromeda is, I mean each planet has its own ecosystem and terrain and you'll be getting very familiar with that terrain if you choose to do those side missions. Planets maps are riddled with side quests to do, and the crazy part is I found most of them to be interesting, and it's because most of the side missions contain cutscenes so most of the things I did they felt like they mattered. Things like solving murder mysteries, taking down gangs, exploring ancient ruins and so much more like I remember I was fixing some water pipelines for my colony and then this happened. I found the worm on Eos. There you go. Let me record this. Let me slide down this ladder, read these. God damn, it took me a while to find this. I showed you how much the shit there is to do with the game. 
I low key can't even relax and like play this at my own pace because I'm gonna finish it before it expires. But the main story's not that long if you're just trying to run through that. Sure. This game is as deep or as shallow as you want it to be. And the crazy part is, I have 65 hours on the game and I'm not even remotely close to doing everything. I only have one planet at 90 something percent viability. All my other planets are like 30 or 40 percent viability. It's legit overwhelming, but in a good way because the game is full of content. And the best part is, you could do all the side content after finishing the story, so there's no rush. How the fuck do you get around? You'll be doing all your exploring in the Nomad, a vehicle capable of tackling all different types of terrain. The cool thing is, you'll be able to customize your Nomad too. There's all different types of upgrades that'll make it stronger and faster. There's paint jobs that you could apply, but that's not all Andromeda has to offer when it comes to customization. Exploration could be overwhelming, but so can the customization in this game. You're going to be spending a lot of time in the menus applying upgrades as well as crafting new armor and weapons. It's an RPG fan's wet dream because you can really customize everything to your playstyle. If I could make one critique though, I'd say that they could have done a better job of explaining things. I mean, through trial and error, you'll figure out the game systems, but for an RPG noob, I can see all these options being daunting. I mean, just don't get too caught up in the menus and then forget to do the loyalty mission. One of the highlights to Andromeda is the game's loyalty missions. For those of you unaware, during certain points in the game, your crewmates will come to you for help, and it's up to you whether or not you want to help them. I'd say go for it because these are some of the best crafted missions in the game, level design is superb, and it shakes up things when you need it the most. More importantly, you'll also learn more about your crewmates. Some of the missions will lead to dramatic moments, and others will have you legit laughing. If I could critique them, I'd say I wish they had more weight. In Mass Effect 2, loyalty missions were essential to the final suicide mission, and Andromeda, completing them will just unlock the character's sixth skill tree, which, once again, just felt lazy. Lucky for you, campaign isn't all that this game offers. There's also multiplayer. The most slept on multiplayer of 2012 returns in 2017. Mass Effect 3 featured multiplayer, but most people didn't know or they didn't care. For the most part, multiplayer is the same as 3's, but with the addition of a bunch of new classes, maps, and enemies, plus the new movement system. Andromeda's multiplayer is a PvE horde mode, but what makes it better than all other horde modes, in my opinion, is it isn't just about your ability to shoot. Mass Effect's multiplayer is about who knows the in and outs of the game's mechanics. Survival in Andromeda's multiplayer is all about teamwork. The classes you pick matter because you want characters that have primers and you want characters that have detonators. If you don't know how to coordinate biotic and tech combos, then you're gonna die quickly. They do a great job of keeping you on your toes. You talking so much shit, but you ain't looking at damn Chaos's armor, boy. Shit look like Crest toothpaste, nigga. <laughs> Get looking like a, a gay liquor <laughs> stick, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Looking like a stale peppermint, nigga. <laughs> like, <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, got, them. got them faded ass Christmas colors, boy. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, what army you fight for so I know not to join up for? <laughs> oh, my God. Oh my god. Yeah. And the new characters, weapons, and consumables, they're all earned via loot crates. You can pay for them or you can earn them. And kudos to Bioware because you don't have to pay for shit. It only takes like three or four games to save up enough in-game credit for one of those rare loot crates. I mean, you can unlock everything from just playing the game a little bit. Plus, all future DLC is free. So, I mean, you really can't complain, but... What I can't complain about is the lack of new aliens. Mass Effect and Drama is about finding a new home, right? But only the humans, Turian, Asari, Krogan, and Salarian came along for the journey. And Drama doesn't feature any Quarian, Drell, Volus, Elcor, Hanar, Vorcha, Geth, Batarians. I mean, there's no fucking Batarians in this game. I fucking love those assholes. And listen, I have no problem with them not being in Andromeda if Bioware replaced them with some new alien races. I just listed eight alien species missing from Andromeda, right? And what do we get in exchange? The Ket and the Angara. You mean to tell me we traveled 600 years in dark space only to find two new alien species get the fuck out of here also i didn't like the return of planet scanning why bioware just why nobody likes scanning planets for resources and the worst part is you only had to do it i gathered enough resources from just mining in the nomad and collecting stuff on foot that it had me wondering what purpose did the planet scanning provide you know what else i didn't understand being twins so at the beginning of the game if you make a male rider then you're gonna have to make a female twin and vice versa i thought this was cool because i was expecting some type of brother sister dynamic maybe some cool tag team special moves or missions only the twins can do, but it never amounts to anything. I literally made my twin sister at the start. You don't see her come out of crowd sleep until halfway through the game. You guys have a quick conversation, then you go back to saving the galaxy. You don't see your sibling again until the very last mission. I mean, this is one of the laziest things about this game. Assassin's Creed Steamboat Edition did twins better than you guys, and that game sucks. Now allow me to address the elephant in the room. Let's talk about the glitches. The facial animations without a doubt need improvement, but I don't play video games for facial animations, so I was personally able to look past that. But you know what did bother? me the lack of attention to detail in this game i expect polish from a bioware game but andromeda reminded me more of a bethesda game i never once encountered any game breaking bugs in my playthrough but what i did encounter are bugs that were very distracting sounds less like living than waiting to die 
Exactly. I wouldn't trade one of my years for a hundred of theirs. <laughs> Or how about this clip? And don't worry, it's no spoilers. So right after I got done smashing chorus cakes and smithereens, we're lying in bed talking, right? And then this happened. So quiet. Like it's just the two of us. Maybe one day it will be. You and me. A rover, a tent, adventuring across the stars. Living on our wits, keeping each other warm at night, and then our keeping each other Bioware, what is this? It looks like I just spat up a piece of her damn placenta. Here's one more for the road. I mean, right before the final mission, Cora wants to talk. She was probably mad. She probably heard about me fucking on PB2, but that's beside the point. I walk into the room, the game pixelates, freezes, and then it says Cora's name, even though PB is in the shot, and then my neck does a 180. I mean, the game completely spazzed on me. I'm fine with a little pain. This isn't a little. Thanks, Cora. I would say 95% of my 65 hours on the game were fine, but that 5% that it did fuck up, you notice, and that's a shame, by the way. Final thoughts. So this is a quick summary for those of you out there that wasn't paying attention. Mass Effect Andromeda features a decent story with some decent characters, some of the best combat the series has ever seen. I love the new addition of verticality. There's no classes, so you can have up to 12 moves now. There's deep customization, easily over 100 hours of content. The multiplayer is awesome, and the game is beautiful. On the negative side of things, there's a lack of new alien speed. Species, the planet scanning returns by who who likes that stop putting that in the game bioware uh <laughs> the twins serve no real purpose there's no renegade dialogue options and the game does have glitches and bugs look mass effect andromeda is not a bad game i repeat andromeda is not a bad game don't believe the hate train the truth is somewhere in the middle. The problem with Andromeda is it's just a good game. The original trilogy is a classic in many eyes, therefore we as fans expect greatness and not just good. The game should have gotten pushed back like six months for more polishing, but the reality is I'm gonna have to judge it based off what's out now. So unless you're a super Mass Effect fan, I'd say most of you are best off just waiting until the price drops. I still think the game is worth playing, but I'd be a liar if I sat up here and said this game doesn't need some milk. Hey, thanks for watching my review. Hopefully you found it informative. If you did, then please remember to the like button, comment, subscribe, and share. Those four elements help brother's channel grow. If you want to check out some more of my content, then there will be some thumbnails to the right of me. They're clickable on desktop and mobile. And if you're looking for even more content to indulge in, then try subscribing to my second channel over at youtube.com slash GI updates. We post new gaming, anime, sports, music, and comic book content there on the regular. I think you guys will enjoy it. That's youtube.com slash GI updates. There will be a link in the description box below. Let it bless you.